In this example, we are going to find the internal rate of return, IRR, the net present value, NPV, and the profitability index, PI, for a project. In this example, we have a project that starts with a $10,000 expense, and then it has cash flows in years 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, as indicated here. Excel, fortunately, makes it extremely easy to find the internal rate of return for a project. There is an equation equals IRR, open parentheses, click and drag across all the values including the cash flow out in year zero, close parentheses, done. 16.1% is the internal rate of return for this project. The one thing you have to make sure is that you have the years in order here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If there are skipped years, like if there were a zero cash flow in year three, you would need to include that. So as long as you have all the years in order, you're all set. For net present value, there's a couple extra steps. Uh, first of all, you need to evaluate the net present value of a project at a certain cost of capital. Here we're going to use 12% in the example. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is start the equation, which is equals NPV for net present value, open parentheses. It is asking for the rate, that's the 0.12 that we're using here. You would be given that value in the problem. Comma, we are going to click and drag across the cash flows in, which starting with year one and going through year five. And that gives us the net present value of all the cash flows in uh, 10,997. We do also need to find the net present value of the cash flows out. In most projects, you are going to have one cash flow out at the very beginning. And since it is occurring at the very beginning, that is the net present value of it. So here we have a $10,000 cash flow out in year zero. That is its net present value. Now to find the net present value of the project in total, you take the net present value of all the cash flows in, you subtract the net present value of all the cash flows out, and you get an answer, positive $997. Last, profitability index is equal to the net present value in divided by the net present value out. 1.10 in this case.